what would you learn about your game this the past week and at the regionals? Um, you know, regionals, I was just super consistent. I didn't make any big numbers. I think I only had five bogeys and ten birdies. So uh, I think just staying really patient under a lot of pressure is big for not only me, just all of us. I think we do a really good job with that. So I think the big thing that I learned about myself is just how patient I can be if I want to be. So. Will you talk to a little bit about like the pressure kind of off you guys because you can lean on your brother basically. Yeah, exactly. And know he's, you know, that he's got your back and he might be the guy who shoots the 67. Yeah, I mean, William kind of said it. It's all of us are so close to each other. We love each other. We hang out with each other every single day. It almost feels like we're all brothers. Uh, and knowing that everybody could post any given round in any day is a great feeling because if you know if I'm struggling on a day I can like lean back saying hey you know what Cole is gonna shoot a good round Williams gonna shoot it doesn't matter like everybody can shoot a good round which is a good feeling. Is it that attitude that kind of you take to Scottsdale? Of course. Knowing, knowing that you can, you guys can actually make a run. Yes, it's not sir. like you're going there to finish. No, I mean we're we're going there. I've been to one of these before. They don't. I mean. Just like Coach said, it, it, there's a little bit more spotlight on you, but it's still a golf tournament. We're gonna still go there. We're gonna still play the same sport. Um, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. We're gonna lean on each other, and we're just gonna take that and see how far it can, how far it can go. And, and, uh, are you yeah, Texas? I'm from also. Texas. Yeah, that's a good. It's a good. Yeah, it's a good bet that if you're probably gonna land on somebody from Texas. Yeah, so I mean, you played in heat. It, that doesn't. Yes, sir. No, I mean, I tell everybody this. I would rather play in 100 degree weather than 40 degrees any day of the week. But uh, I'm just excited to sweat. I feel like I haven't sweat a lot lately, so I'm excited. If, if when you look at the field, do you like look at these schools and, and kind of? It's uh, it's weird because uh, I mean I've been playing with these guys for the past six years, you know, in junior golf, amateur golf. I just look at them as my friends, you know. On they're on other good teams, and I'm on a pretty good team too. So I don't really like to look at other teams and judge based on how good they are and compare uh, us to them. I just kind of look at them, saying like, "Hey, that's my friend. We're gonna go out there and have fun." And like I said, we're just gonna see where it takes us the end of the week hopefully hopefully all the way but. and finally uh, Scott's out there with you guys along with Gator what, what does Scott do to, to kind of help your game while you're out on the course oh I mean it's just a I think the biggest thing is just trust between him and us you know we trust whatever he's going to tell us whatever he whatever his game plan is we're just going to trust um, like he mentioned we have uh, a battle for the five spot this week we're gonna trust whoever he thinks he's ready to play. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go with that idea. We're gonna go all in with that. And of course, he has immense trust for us in our game plan and sticking to a game plan and uh, you know executing it uh, at a high level. Can you give us an idea of your schedule this coming week, just briefly? Uh, yeah, we're going to go. We're on our way to Scottsdale right now. I think today we're just going to chill. And then the next three days, we're just going to practice slash play. Just an inner squad um, an inner squad deal. And then practice round following day and then game on. And have you played Great Hall? I've played there a few times, yes, sir. What were your impressions of it? It's just like what William said. It's like you gotta. It's a placement golf course, so you gotta place your golf ball in the correct sections of the fairways, and you got to know where your misses are around the greens, and you know you gotta know where you have to place the golf ball to certain pins. So, so you it's just definitely ball striker. Don't course. want to get stuck by the cactus. You do not want to get stuck by the cactus. Jump and jump on. The jumping cactuses. Yeah. My uh, my my mom got hit with one of those. So yeah, yeah explain. She well, I mean, she went. Uh, she went scavenging for a golf ball and some, and you know, she ran across the corner and one one thing jumped on her side and she was like, oh, stuck to her. Yeah, no, those things are those things are real deal. Might I ask you the same question? Why I came to Vanderbilt? 
Raw, you came from Vanderbilt, and, and we love you Texas guys, <laughs> for sure, because over the years, it's, it's been great for us. Yes, ma'am. Well, um, so a fifth-year senior that's graduating this year, he's from Texas, and I played against him in high school. And he was one of the best junior golfers in te all of Texas. And I looked at that, and I really wanted to be on a team with him. And, you know, I thought going on a visit to Vanderbilt, never been to Nashville, um, fell in love with the city, reminded me a lot of Austin. Um, academics here are great, Nashville's great, and I love the coaches. Pretty much just Super, all super around. good reasons. Yes, ma'am. We're happy that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Good All good? Yep, thank you.